I can't believe you won that game because I ran out like 10 times here because I'm like, wait, what is happening here? Am I, am I seeing double from 3-0? Funny enough, joking, I was saying that, okay, what happened with Wolves? You know, they beat Wolves and they came from like three goals down to beating Wolves 4 3. What a semi final we witnessed, Bimmy. 3 3, a crazy one. You guys were ahead, you guys gave up the lead. It went to extra time. They had an offside goal. They had the goal disallowed. It went to penalties. You guys scaled through. Oh, roller coaster of a match. I cannot even. I can't believe you won that game because I ran out like ten times here because I'm like, wait, what is happening here? Am I am I seeing double from three zero? I, funny enough, joking, I was saying that. Okay, what happened with Wolves? You know, they beat Wolves and they came from like three goals down to beating Wolves four three. I was like jokingly saying that. What if it happens here? What so, if? It, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was jokingly saying that what if he happens here and look at <laughs> before my eyes one two three goals had entered no man this is this is insane and eth has to do better because that's if they don't even suck him by morning time by morning because he needs to go he's so you cannot be pressing uh, um you can't see that they're, they're pressing your teams and you keep you just sit down there and be looking you try and getting players although we don't have we don't have people to even come on to come on and help us but sometimes his subs are ridiculous why take off Meno on ganacho you can clearly tell that they, they were doing something on, on the pitch but you took them off you brought in anthony i didn't even see what anthony did or oh, you brought in forsen forsen was even still trying to be everywhere but you know he was just unlucky he was just unlucky to get a goal but it was just a, in fact this is like a narrow escape a narrow narrow escape but to be honest i don't know what it is but it's fine yeah we're going to meet city and it's it, well, for me you're shouting bring city on I keep saying this thing that like anything can just happen. It's football, yeah. But well, I don't know, Shah. Man United, when you insult them, when you cross them, when you you, do, you see everything, they will just gonna they will just gonna shock you that day. You might just be like, you just come on and see two zero. Although they, will, they you know, it might to be to be head to head. But any which way, Shah, we have gotten to this um, final. So whatever happens. I want to ask you another question. Everybody's blaming Ten Hag. Don't the players get some blame for all this? No, the players have that. In fact, they have to be blamed even more than the coach because you're the one doing the job on the pitch. So what are you being? What are you collecting your wages weekly for? What do you go to the training to the pitch to go and train during you know your training hours? And for Rashford, I, I want to say this that I watched that game from you know almost start to finish, and I Rashford could not make a successful pass to his opponents to his sorry his um his his own Teammate. team player yeah, teammates. Like what's that? I don't understand. I don't know, but. But they even had to when they saw being, when they brought in Ahmad, we saw like we saw difference. We saw a difference, you know, you know, with in that in that position that Rashford was. And to be honest, Rashford needs to do better. All of them, in fact, they need to go and talk to themselves. Um, Fernandez has been. He will be good some minutes. The next minute, yeah, he's scoring. You would try to you know hold on your words to him, but it's just crazy. We have we had like a very bad season, a very terrible season. This is like the worst I've ever seen. We are struggling with Coventry. It's, it's the worst I've ever, I've ever seen. Well, Mr. Bounce Back, I don't know who you guys are playing next, but um Sheffield, Sheffield yeah. Yeah, that should be a good game to bounce back and get some momentum going. You know Sheffield, teams like Sheffield there. <laughs> this is where they come to show their this help. I don't know themselves. So I don't know. We need to win Sheffield though, regardless of anything. Like if we don't win Sheffield and Tehang still there, that did that did that did I can carry this thing, my my squad. <laughs> Let him come on. They didn't come and bully him off on that pitch. He doesn't. He doesn't deserve to be a coach right now. I beg. He should go. We're giving him time. No, no difference. Every match, same thing. How will you be? How will they, How will you considering like three goals every game? And you might either lose it or you draw the match. Or you know, it's not. It's not nice. It's, it's not sustainable at all. At all. For like five, six games, I've witnessed the same thing happen since we played Liverpool. It has been happening. Or even not even Liverpool, Seth. Yeah, Brentford, all of them, since we played Brentford till now, like almost like six, seven games, you know, back to back, and we've been delivering the same act. Defense, zero. But it's fine, all our players are injured. I don't know, I, and I keep seeing my you players, you guys are claiming that you're injured, but I'll, I'll be scrolling down Instagram and I'll see your pictures with your family, having birthday shirts, having whatever shirt, anniversary shirt. Please, which leg are you, are you using to stand? Because <laughs> I don't understand. You guys, you're injured. You should not be taking pictures. Beans. You shouldn't be taking pictures. To be honest, you guys, you should go and check their medical team. Rubbish. Playing nonsense. Baby, thank you. We'll see you for the game against Sheffield United. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Peace.